another chance for peace, another attempt to rebuild a nation. People in Guinea-Bissau stand in line to vote for their preferred presidential and parliamentary candidates. Thirteen men want to be president. <laughs> Braima Embalo holds his identity card ready to vote. He has been through this process many times since his country gained independence from Portugal in 1974. There have been several military coups since, five in the last decade alone. Mbalo is under no illusions about what his future may hold. I voted because I must. Only God knows who is a good leader and who has a good intention for this country. I can't possibly know. In the same polling station, Manuel Serifo Namajo, the country's interim president, also casts his vote. Let's give the person who will win this election a chance to complete his mission. Let's forget about the past because Guinea-Bissau is in need of unity. Closely monitoring the election are representatives from the African Union, European Union, United Nations and the West Africa Regional Bloc, ECOWAS. They are also finding the vote and a planned security reform program. Security reforms in the generic sense uh, require, of course, uh, how you may perhaps restructure military, how uh, the relationship, civil-military relationship is redefined. Many people here are cautiously hopeful that this election is going to give them the change that they want. They hope that the man whom they vote for is going to be strong enough to solve the country's problems. He'll have to deal with a crippled economy, a destabilizing drug trafficking problem, and a military that is reluctant to disengage from the politics of the country. A tough job ahead for whoever becomes president of this West African state. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Guinea-Bissau.